It's been three years since Microsoft announced the Xbox One, and now it's getting an update with the Xbox One S. The Xbox One S is 40% smaller, has an internal power supply, supports 4K Ultra HD, ships with up to a two terabyte hard drive, and promises richer, more luminous colors thanks to HDR technology. With all those new features, there has to be something interesting going on inside the new Xbox One S, so let's tear it down. Hi, I'm Kelsey with iFixit, in for Gwendolyn who's on leave, and today we're tearing down the Xbox One S. What will it take to get into our new Xbox? Multiple iFixit opening tools and some intense prying. The Xbox One S is held together with plastic security clips that while being easier to open than adhesive, are fragile and have the potential to easily break. Green screws secure the primary assembly to the upper case, and a bunch more hold the metal mid-body in place. With those removed, we get our first look inside the Xbox One S. These components won't be hard to identify since they've been nicely labeled and numbered. There's even a mini Master Chief protecting the optical disk drive bracket. The Wi-Fi and RF boards are next on our list, and just like the Xbox One, they detach outward from the case. It looks like the rest of the components are secured on the reverse side of the metal plate, meaning our only way in is from below. The hard drive was the first out and is revealed to be a two terabyte, 5400 RPM, SATA 3 Seagate drive. Next out, the optical drive. Courtesy of Philips and Light On Digital Solutions, this drive differs slightly from the one found in the original Xbox One with upgrades to support Ultra HD Blu-ray. The new fanless integrated power supply comes out next. This power supply accepts 100 to 240 volts, meaning you can take it pretty much anywhere there's a plug. A familiar X-shaped bracket secures the thermal system to the motherboard. We've seen tough brackets like this in every Xbox since the original 360. With the bracket removed, the heatsink, motherboard, and fan all come out as one big piece. Chips, chips, and more chips. The motherboard is home to the 1.75 GHz AMD Jaguar 8-core CPU, plus an overclocked 914 MHz AMD Radeon Graphics GPU. You can also see the 8GB of Samsung-made DDR3 SD RAM and 8GB of Toshiba-made NAND Flash. If you're interested in seeing the complete list of chips we identified, head on over to ifixit.com. We've come to the end of our teardown, and now we turn our thoughts towards repairability. How did the Xbox One S score? It got an 8 out of 10, and here's why. On the upside, only a few tools are required to take the console apart. Once inside, a clean, no-nonsense modular design allows the drives, fan, heatsink, PSU, wireless board, and front daughter board to be easily replaced. Fewer interlocking body panels and a simpler clip arrangement make opening this generation of Xbox easier than its senior. But on the downside, replacing the hard drive will require both voiding your warranty and some difficult hackery to make it serviceable. And that's our teardown. For the complete teardown, including tons of beautiful, high-quality images, head on over to ifixit.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on our latest teardowns and repair videos. You can also follow us on Twitter at iFixit and give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com slash iFixit.